Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Furigan Appalachies textile jacket. Furigan's Appalachies jacket is a mid-priced textile jacket that's designed to give weather protection for touring and commuting. This jacket costs £199.99, which puts it just slightly below the average price for a textile touring jacket. It's not especially cheap, but the relatively low price is reflected in the spec level. The outer shell is made from polyester to deliver protection against abrasion and also the weather. Key vents are at the chest, the bicep, under the arms, and also down each shoulder blade on the back of the jacket. Don't expect icy blasts of cooling air to be whipping through those vents, as air has to make its way through the waterproof membrane before it can get to your skin on the inside. Furigan use a generic membrane in this jacket, and it's what's known as a drop liner. That means it's fixed inside the jacket and sits as an internal layer to catch any water that gets past the outer layer. The idea is that the jacket might get wet, but you stay dry on the inside. The main fastener on the jacket is a basic but effective chunky zip with a Velcro tab across the collar to fasten it. That can also be undone and hooked back on this hook here to give you a little bit more airflow and room around the neck. I found the neck on this jacket really comfortable. It was the right height for me as I dislike high necklines on bike jackets. The cuffs are a very basic Velcro arrangement and they're also quite narrow. I found it difficult to get winter gloves on the inside of this cuff, which also makes it harder to keep out rain as having gloves worn over the top means water can run down the sleeves and into the gloves. There are adjusters on this jacket to tailor the fit at the waist, at the biceps, and also at the lower hem, which comes in useful when you're taking out any internal liners and you need to take up some of the slack that's created. Final practicalities on the outside are the lashings of light reflective material that mean you know you'll stand out in a car's headlight beam at night. There are also seven exterior pockets on this jacket. That's two each at the hips and the chest, and then there are pockets at the lower back, the left wrist, and again on the chest just behind the storm flap. They're joined by two pockets on the inside, which sit at the base of the shell, roughly equivalent to where the pockets are on the outside. And seeing as we've moved to the interior, let's carry on with the rest of the inside. There's a removable thermal liner for this jacket, and it's thicker around the torso than it is on the arms, which helps with flexibility while you're riding, and there are mesh sections on that liner which marry up to the vents under the arms to allow some cooling air to come through. Light and flexible D3O shoulder and elbow armour meets the basic level one in the CE standard, but there's no back protector as standard. There is a pocket, so you can buy your own back protector and you can put that in there. And there are also pockets for chest protector inserts. Both the back protector and the chest inserts cost an extra 36 pounds each. If you fancy going the whole high tech hog, then zips on the inside allow you to attach Furigan's airbag to the inside of this jacket. It's a vest incorporating the in and motion technology that's used by several clothing brands now, and that has sensors to monitor your riding, and it can inflate that airbag when it detects that you're in the middle of a crash. The airbag is 380 pounds, and there's an extra cost on top of that to either buy or lease the electronics that it needs to function. There are links to all three of those upgrades, the back protector, the chest protector inserts, and the airbag, in the description for this video. If you're looking for a complete suit, there are zips inside that connect this jacket to Furigan's Appalachies trousers. They cost £179.99, and again, we'll put a link to those in the description for this video. I hope that gives you all the detail you need about the Furigan Appalachies jacket, but if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.